Here's how to take your file transfers to the next level using skip rules in Transmit. This stuff is both powerful and a little overwhelming, but that's what I'm here for. Whenever I make changes to files on my site, I transfer them in Transmit. But I don't do that one by one, of course. I use File Sync. For more on file syncing, see our File Sync Basics video. To keep from accidentally syncing the wrong files, though, I decided to set up some simple rules for Transmit to follow. Here, let me show you. Let's head up to the menu bar, click Transmit, then Preferences, and then select the Rules tab. Now, this might look familiar. It's not that different from setting up rules in Mail. As you can see, Transmit gives us an example rule to help illustrate what this is for, but it's not doing anything because its little checkbox isn't checked. I'm going to delete this rule for skipping version control files and start fresh. To do that, I select the rule, then click the minus button down here. Hey, thanks for making sure I really do want to delete that rule, Transmit. I definitely do. Now I'll create a new rule by clicking the plus button. Great. I've been creating some extra high-res images, but I don't need to transfer them over to my server, so I'll call this rule skip at 3x images. Now by default, this pop-up on the right says skip, which is what I want my rule to do. But there are two other choices. Show, which would just make sure that the items following this rule would absolutely be shown in Transmit's file browser, and hide, which would hide these items from view. Good to know, hidden items are also skipped when it comes to syncing. Okay, for any rule I create, I can decide if items should match by all, any, or none of the conditions I specify. For my rule about excluding large images, I'll choose any, and now check this out. I first choose which property to specify. Let's start with name. This can be exact or partial matches of text. Look at all of these options. Since I want to make sure my at 3x images don't get transferred, I'll choose contains and then write at 3x in the field. But I also want to catch any at 3x images that I might have mislabeled. I mean, I'm only human. So I'll add another condition. Remember, my rule will apply to any files meeting these conditions. To do that, I'll click the plus button here. This time, I'll pick size, and notice that the options I get are specific to size. I'll choose is greater than, and then let's say 20 kilobytes, because the images I do want to sync should all be really small. Great, there's my rule to ignore any 3x images. I'll make sure the box is checked for now, which enables the rule, but I can disable this rule whenever I need to without deleting it. This is pretty straightforward, so I won't add any more rules right now, but I do want to go through the other property types with you. Path will let you enter absolute or relative paths. So I could choose is and then paste in a full path here, or I could choose contains and just type in part of it. Neat. Date modified is handy because you could set up a rule to include only recently modified files or to specifically find old files, etc. And finally, you could add a conditional for kind. Now you might think this means the file extension like HTML, JPEG, JSON, or PDF. Nope. It's actually how the finder identifies kinds of items in proper English, like folder, image, zip archive, MPEG-4, movie, etc. Look in the finder's kind column for examples of what to put here. You can also turn on the kind column in Transmit's file browser. Boy, that's one tricky little detail. I'm glad we're making this video. On to the file permissions. It's a Unix system. You know this. Except you might not know this, in which case you're most likely fine leaving this as it is. But if you need it, you can have Transmit automatically set who can read, write, and execute your files when they're uploaded to your Unix or Linux server by checking and unchecking these boxes. You can also enter the corresponding octal number, if that's faster for you because you're a total nerd. Sadly, I just learned that an octal is not a fractal octopus. It's just numerical shorthand. I know, I was disappointed too. Hit the web tab if you need to set files as execute. And if you want all your Amazon S3 files to be readable by the world by default, you do that in the S3 tab. My goodness, we did it. Now that my skip rules are set up, I'm ready to sync even more efficiently. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our file sync basics video for more detailed information. Use rules to automate your file management. Learn more at panic.com.